Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, I know I have been promising to make this video, but the one I made the other night was just horrible, so I decided to redo it. Um, it is now, what, 3.05 in the morning. The kids are bound to be up in about an hour and a half, so I gotta rush through this uh, so I can get on with the day. But I really wanted to get this video made and um, uploaded for you guys since I've been promising it. So let's jump on into it before I run out of time again, shall we? I've put these in order from um, my first spot to my latest acquisition, and uh, we're going to roll right through it. So my first spider coat that I had ever bought and um, added to my collection, which was my first spider coat I'd ever handled, was the Spiderco Resilience. Uh, I got this one instead of the Tenacious. Everybody um, told me, you know, if you're going to get a Spiderco, get a Tenacious or a Resilience. And I ended up going with the Resilience because... When I, I don't want to say when I first started collecting knives, but when I first started collecting quality knives, um, is how I'm going to put it, uh, I, I was all about the big knives. I did not like small knives. I didn't really see a place for them. I, I wanted the biggest and the baddest of all the knives. So um, I got the uh, Resilience first because I was scared the Tenacious was going to be a little too small for me. And uh, when this Samurai Sword... Uh, man, this thing is huge. You can double hand this knife. It, it is a beast. Uh, when this bad boy showed up, I was very pleased, but uh, it really intrigued me and made me want the Tenacious that much more. And uh, it was perfect. I'm so happy that I ended up buying the Resilience first and not the Tenacious. Uh, because about a week later, I ended up uh, winning second place in the Swedish Paracord Nuts giveaway. And uh, his first place was a Resilience, and his second place was a Tenacious, and I ended up winning the Tenacious. So it ended up working out perfect for me. Um, it, it couldn't have been better. I was planning on buying uh, the Tenacious come payday, and it just fell into my lap. It was awesome. So big shout out to Brother Christian. Um, this is still one of my most used uh, militaries, or militaries, my most used spider coats. Um, out of all of these knives, it might not be the most carried, but it has seen the most uh, work out of them all. It, it's just a great knife, a great workhorse. Um, can't say enough great things about the Tenacious. The next spider code that I added to the collection um, was still by far one of my favorites, the Manix 2 XL. I've never got to handle... Uh, the original Manix 2. Uh, I went, jumped right to the XL because, like I said, I was all about the big blades. Um, but I'm sure happy I got this knife because I love it. Um, I had to start carrying this thing more because uh, I forget how badass this knife really is. I absolutely love the Manix 2 XL. By far one of my favorite Spydercos ever. Um, next, I got his and her. Um, Spiderco Natives. I got these for Valentine's Day for the wife and I. And I really just fell in love with this design. I'm not a huge fan of the FRN, but I loved the design of this blade. I wish I could have got a G10 model, but they don't offer it, unfortunately. Um, not in this um, blade setup. You'd have to go with a full flat ground, and I wasn't willing to do that. Uh, I, I love the look of this blade, and the wife absolutely loved it as well. Uh, we ended up supporting breast cancer awareness, which, those of you guys that don't know, uh, my mother is a survivor of breast cancer, so I try and support that as much as possible. So, after I got those two, I went and I was looking up um, some more Spydercos, and I was thinking about getting the Southern, but it was a little too expensive, and I had never seen this knife, and when I seen it, I, I just fell in love um, it, it was love at first sight, and that is the Spyderco Super Leaf. This is by far one of my favorite Spydercos in the collection. This is my baby. I know it's only a $99 you know, to $120 knife right now since they're discontinued, but I baby this thing. Um, the VG10 steel is my favorite steel. It is just flawless. It's a little dirty right now because uh, the satin finish does hold finger uh, fingerprints. Uh, pretty bad but I absolutely love this knife little sticky lockup but it's it doesn't ever get carried so hopefully uh, that'll break in the next spider co I got after that was another one of my favorite spider coats probably an another one of the most EDC uh, the Kiwi 3 
Now, when I first seen this knife, like um, a lot of the knives in my collection, <laughs> I didn't like the look. I hated it. Um, but I seen a couple reviews of it, seen Cutlery Lover's review of it, and I fell in love uh, with it shortly after. And I got myself one, and man, this thing was so razor sharp when I got it. It is. It, it was crazy sharp, scary sharp. Uh, I'd like to get a couple more of them uh, just to put back for um, emergencies. I mean, you could probably perform sur perform surgery with one of these things. They're so sharp um, when they come right out of the box. Uh, unfortunately, it did lose that sharpness pretty quick because it's 8CR13 MOV, but uh, a couple swipes on the sharp maker, and I'm sure I can get this thing wicked sharp again. Great, great knife. I love this knife. Next up is uh, a great knife. I got this on loan from a fellow YouTuber, AutoTac91. Uh, he sent it to me to uh, test out, and I think it was a ploy, because uh, I'm pretty sure he knew I was going to fall in love with it and uh, trade him for it. So I think he uh, knew that from the beginning it was a setup, but I ended up falling in love with this knife and traded him uh, a few things for it, and I'm so happy I did really really love the military great great knife next is one of my grail knives I had wanted this knife since I started collecting quality knives probably two two and a half years ago um, when I first seen this knife I just fell in love with it it was this is my only grail knife that I'd ever wanted and fully serrated it was the only version that I wanted was uh, the full stainless with fully serrated blade. That it's just such a mean looking knife. The fully serrated police is such a badass blade. Again, VG10, just an awesome knife. Shout out to Glock17 Ninja for making this possible. He's such an awesome guy. All about helping uh, other people get um, their grail knives. I'm, he, he's helped quite a few people on YouTube get knives that they've wanted for a long time. So, big shout out to him. He's an awesome guy. Check him out on Instagram and YouTube. I'll post links below for everybody I'm talking about here. Next up, we got uh, another knife from another YouTuber and Instagrammer as well. Uh, Gear755 or 775. I always mess up on your number, brother. Um, but I got another fully serrated uh, Spyderco Tenacious uh, shortly after getting the police and um, playing with the spider edge I just realized man it, it is such a badass uh, edge why not get a Tenacious in it so uh, I have this put back for emergencies if I ever have to really mess some shit up this is what I'm going for because that spider edge is just wicked sharp uh, second to last, we have the wife's persistence. Um, thank God this finally made its way here. Um, she's so stoked about this knife. It might not be the highest quality knife. It is HCR 13 MOB, so I have to sharpen it up quite a bit uh, more than I had to with the Native 4. But she loves it. It's perfect size for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram know uh, where she carries it. It's perfect size that and the native um, just slide right on in <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of dirty comments for that but you guys know what I mean um, and the last but definitely not least uh, the newest acquisition is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 uh, I've been wanting to get this for a long long time ending up trading my ultimate grail knife my 560 um, for this and another knife and Nah, I'm happy, I guess, uh, after I get the blade stonewashed or something and uh, in a little bit better shape, I'll be a lot a, a lot more comfortable with the trade, but it, it's a great knife. I really love it, like everybody said, and uh, I'm, I'm happy I have uh, the matching military and para military, too. Great, great knives. So, that's that, guys. Hopefully you guys liked the update on the collection. And um, I'm about to run out of time here, so that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go crawl into bed and get an hour or two of sleep before the munchkins wake up and uh, start jumping all over the place. So that's going to do it. California Prepper, I'm out of here.